All right, so the ingredients we're going to be using today for the fish sandwich is I have cod fillets, I have some flour, seasoned panko, breadcrumbs, eggs, and I'm going to be seasoning the fish with some adobo, parsley flakes, seasoning salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and then I have tartar sauce to put on the sandwich after the fish is cooked. So the first thing you're going to do is season your fish. So we're using the adobo, season one side. Then onion powder. Garlic powder, put some black pepper, and seasoning salt. And some parsley bread. and basically you're going to season the other side with the same ingredients let me grab a fork so you don't flip it over Season the other side. You want to season everything to your liking. And then once it's seasoned, gonna let it um sit. So that the season can like marry into your fish for about 12 minutes or so. And while that's happening, you can get your oil to start to heat up. And we'll be back when we're ready to start breading the fish and then putting it in the pot. So now we're going to do our eggs, so we can do our egg wash. So I'm using three eggs. And you want to beat the egg. Flour, eggs, and seasoned um, breadcrumbs. I'm going to bring this over here. So first thing we're going to do is take our fish, put it in the flour. Then we put it in our egg. And then into our seasoned breadcrumbs. And you 
want to make sure that your perms coats it well. And then you want to make sure that your flower's ready. So see that there? When you put flour in there and it sizzles up, your flour is ready. So I'm just going to add And then now on to the next one. Flour. Egg. Break crumb. And I know you're supposed to use one hand for the dry and another hand for the wet, but I always confuse myself, so, okay. You gotta turn this down some, because it's browning a little bit too quickly. And then let me just check it, see if it's ready to flip. Don't want to overcrowd your pan. Add in the egg. Let the excess drip off. And then incorporate some. Yeah. And then I have the plate with a paper towel on there to drain excess oil off. 
Okay. This one looks like it's ready to cook. And it doesn't take a lot to cook fish. See that? That one's ready. This last piece in there. All right, so the fish is finished cooking. Now, putting it together, it's basically your preference on what you want on the sandwich. Today, I'm using brioche hamburger bun. And then I am going to put a slice of cheese on the bottom. use tartar sauce this is what I'm using today use whatever tartar sauce of your preference you like or if you want to make your own tartar sauce you can tomatoes to it you can hot sauce you can like I said it's your preference and I'm going to cut it so you can see the inside of it Yeah. 